Well, how you doing folks? November 28th, 2018. And uh, here in Tucson, Arizona, we've got just a wonderful surprise. I looked out a little while ago. What I did see was line after line after line after line. Looks like they've been working it all night over here. And take a look at what we got now. Okay, so, anyone know what this is? See what appears to be electrical patterns inside of the quote unquote clouds. Yeah, clouds, you know, not, of course it's, yeah, contrails like you see there. Oh, that's right, contrail. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, that's the lies of Encyclopedia Britannica. But anyway, what we have here, and this is, I'll tell you what, this is what I've told people over years, an easy way to tell what we got in the sky. Take a look at this. What does that look like? Electrical patterns. Electrical patterns. That is called harp array. H-A-A-R-P. Okay, the harp array, what it does is they dump thousands and thousands of pounds of particulates into our air. You know, the things we're breathing. Yeah, because they fall. Everything that goes up must come down. That is correct. So what we have here is the harp array is turned on. And I'll tell you, this is what makes it real easy to tell what it is you're looking at. If you look up and you see clouds, let's say there was a cloud bank over here somewhere, it would not have these electrical patterns through it. The patterns come when they turn on the harp array and they have all these thousands of pounds of metal particulates in the sky. They jump wham, into these patterns. And at the same time, if you happen to have natural clouds, which of course we don't have any right now, then what you would see is the cloud doesn't move, doesn't change. It doesn't get these patterns in it, period, nothing. But guess what does? The geoengineering patterns, the geoengineering dumps of metal particulates they get to looking like this. So there you go. That's how you figure out which clouds in the sky are real and which are not, as soon as that harp array goes on. Now when they turn it off, slowly these lines will work themselves back into a cloud. But when you, if you happen to catch the moment they turn it on, I have on film before, they go wham, right into position. So there we are, harp array on, Tucson, Arizona. And this is reporter Chris Haskell. Have a great day. Oh, I wanted to throw something in here. Um, listen to that. Now we're right next to the Davis Monthan Air Base. And I don't know what's going on lately, but I'll tell you something. They have been busy at night lately. I mean, plane after plane after plane after plane. Uh, and see this little airplane right here? That's a lie. That is not even a contrail. No, no, it's not one of those things they're pointing out right there. Contrail. No, it's not because it's too, it is not cold enough. So in a second here, we might just see a military plane about the same height as this airplane right here. And you're going to see your proof, but listen to that. I'm guessing that is a B-35, otherwise you do not hear that loud of an engine. So probably a B-35 starting up this morning. Wow, it's pretty loud. Huh. Yeah, it's almost shaking our house right now. Beyond loud. Here's the moon. My gosh. Might not be a B-35, it's gonna be another really loud jet or something, but that's not no F-18 or whatever. No. Off, whatever it is. 
see if we catch it lifting up in the air. There's a uh, chemtrail plane right there. Yep. Putting their newest chemtrail, the one that looks similar to a contrail. Yeah, contrail right there. Yeah, uh huh. Encyclopedia Dictionary Lies. Britannica. Lies. Friggin' lies. Lies and more lies. Okay. Sounds like it's taking off right now, whatever it is. I don't see any airplanes, do you? Wow, friggin' loud. Yeah, it's like shaking me right now. Whatever it is, it's still over there firing up its engines. I can't see it yet. That's a loud airplane. Ha! Sometimes they just sit on the ground and and idle these babies. Just shakes our house for like minutes and minutes. Listen, <laughs> I turn around. Should... Sounds to me like it might not be taking off at all. Just sitting there idling. It's like we're standing at its back's exhaust right now. Oh, there she went. Wow. Yep, they were just idling her. All right, you guys have a great day. Okay, I got on the roof now. Whatever it is, they fired it back up. See if we're gonna get a chance to see this thing. Oh, they're just warming up the Durango over there. Yeah. Shut back off as you could hear. Let's see if this happens again. It's like, like the gar guy, it's off again. It's like the guy with the Harley next to you that just starts it up and brum, brum, high revs it and then shuts her off. I can feel that, just vibrating. Wow. I'm gonna pan around once since I'm on the roof. Show what we got for the sky. Here's the line after line of geoengineering with the uh, pattern still in it. Yeah, I'm guessing that's an F-35. I Nothing else shakes our house that, like that. It's a big old American flag. takes off here. Nope, just idling her, gassing her up for no reason. We deal with this all the time here at our house. When you're next to Davis Monthan Air Base, that's what you get.
God, there's a tower, 5G tower right there. Great. That's so wonderful. That's just special. All right, I guess they're not taking off with this airplane, whatever it is. They're just like the guy next door with the Harley, starting it up, making sure everybody's awake. Have a good day. Got another helicopter there, but they keep firing this thing up, but I'm not seeing no airplanes. Huh. They just wanted to wake up the whole neighborhood, I gather, in case they weren't already awake.